Hi! In this episode, I'm using the Spline plugin to create curves in a vector layer. When you install and enable the plugin, you get a new Digitize Spline Curves button in the plugin's toolbar. And you get a settings dialog in the vector menu. You digitize reference points and the tool will fill in extra vertexes to simulate the curve. It will not be a true curve, but the shape format can't handle that anyway. We will have to wait for coming releases of QGIS to get true curve editing. Using the default values on a line, you get a nice extrapolated curve. Changing the tolerance value up will decrease the number of extrapolated spline points. Increasing it further will reduce it even more. Eventually, the nice curve is gone. Let's restore the default and draw a new curve. Changing tightness to a lower value will create a curve with tighter corners. Increasing the value will create wider curves. If you set the value too high, you will get an extreme curve. Finding a balance for your application may require changing both settings, in order to get a good representation with the least amount of points necessary. See you next time!